Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. Been busy weekend, but I try to upload more videos. So today we're gonna do file inclusion, which is part of Web Fundamentals Path. I reset it. Uh, let's get right into it. So file inclusion introduces file inclusion vulnerabilities, including LFI, RFI, and directory transversal. Okay, task one, introduction. This talks about what is file inclusion. As always, guys, I recommend reading through all the tasks to get uh, basic understanding what this room is all about. So first one, just read the tasks and then deploy the VM. Okay, task two, deploy the VM. Uh, I already deploy mines uh, for these uh, try hack me rooms. I usually use their VMs, but you can also load your own uh, Linux uh, OS if you like. So it's already loaded. Let's uh, show split view and it says visit link. Let's highlight this. Uh, and there's going to be, let's see, nope. Okay, copy, paste. There we go. All right, guys. So, look exactly at the screenshot. All right, it says once you deploy the VM, please wait a few minutes for the web server to start, then progress to the next section. Complete. Task three, path transversal. So it talks about directory transversal, allows the attacker to read the operating system resources. Okay. And talks different location, description, and answer your questions below. What function cost this is path transversal vulnerabilities in PHP. So as you read the beginning of the paragraph, and the second one says path transversal vulnerabilities occur when the user's input is passed to a function such as file get content in PHP. So that should be the correct answer. Copy and paste. Awesome. All right, let's go task four, local file inclusion, LFI. All right, different ways of uh, attacking web applications, finding vulnerabilities. So answer questions below. Give lab number one a try to read, etc. slash password. What would the request URI be? Let's click lab one. So let me close this out. What I like to do is go to lab one and just click on the include, see what kind of pops. It says include function cannot be empty. So warning, warning. And uh, it talks about the pathway, right? So as you read through in the beginning, so this talks about question one. And this is just changing the directory. So you see lab one file just type the exact same thing etc password oops I mean copy this it's talking about the URL so etc password Correct. Awesome. Example, so index.php lang en. So it's already same thing, lab one file. All right. So in lab two, what is the directory specified in the include function? Hint, try to enter invalid input to check the error messages. Okay, so go home again. Lab two, again, just press include what does it say so the question says what is the directory specify include function 
So pathway could be include. Uh, let's see, include function fill includes. Okay, inclusion include path. Okay, that works. All right, task five, local file inclusion, LFI number two. All right, talk about different ways. And what's the question? Give lab number three a try to read ETC password. What is the request look like? So let's go back home. Number three, again, click include. Fail the stream, blah, blah, blah. So let's go back to lab three. So as you can see, you can tell every time there's like an underline, all these information that talks about lab number three or the first question. And as you can see, it talks about the dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, directory transversal, use four. Okay. All right. What would the request look like? First, you use this one. As you can see, there's already kind of like highlighted. So, so it is dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot uh, slash etc password should be correct. Yeah, that's correct. Cool. Which function is causing the directory next uh, transversal in lab number four? Okay, let's go lab number four. Again, click include, see what it says. File get contents, file get content. What is the function causing directory transversal in lab number four? And I believe is file get contents function. That's correct. So next question, try out lab number six and check what is the directory that has been, has to be input in the input field. All right, let's go back. Let's go to lab number six. Again, let's press this. What directory has to be, and it says access deny allow files at TGM profile folder only. So I believe it's this one. Let's go copy and paste. So let's try out lab number six and read, etc. OS release. What is the version ID value? Hint version ID dot dot. Okay. Lab number six. So it talks about this one. Language dot dot dot. Okay. So file would be teach m profile. I believe is slash dot dot slash or yes there is dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash etc slash os release all right cool version id 12.04 that's good stuff all right let's go task six remote file inclusion rfi and as you read through it the last paragraph it says Visit the following link, playground to trial RFI attack. We show how to include PHP uh, pages via RFI, do research how to get remote command and answer a question in the challenge section. So save this for later, just complete. Let's move on to task seven, remediation. And talks about as a developer, be aware of what application vulnerabilities, how to find them and prevent and Read, are right, ready for the challenges? Yes, I am. Okay, task eight, last one. All right, make sure attach your VMs up, running, visit. All right. 
Actually, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna type this in. Challenges dot index dot php. Alright, three challenges and four questions. Okay, capture flag at etc. Flag one. Change the form method to post in the page source or use a tool like Burp to modify the method of the request post. Okay, let's click challenge number one. The inform is broken. You need to send post requests with file perimeter. Okay, let's expand this. So you can use, you go to the right, there's these shortcuts, you go click Burp Suite, or you can go right here, top left, and it shows you Burp Suite 2. Next, start Burp. Okay. Uh, the, let's go proxy. If you haven't used this before, it looks kind of foreign, but as more you, you do this, it gets uh, pretty easily. So what I did is I went to proxy, then proxy settings, and then um, under proxy, go to Burps browser and click allow Burps browser to run while out of sandbox. Then turn this off and we're going to open the browser using the Chromium Burp Browser, that's how they call it. So the Firefox, I'll copy this. This is just my way, there's many other ways how you do it, so. All right, I believe is dot dot slash dot dot slash Or is it ETC flag number one? I believe it's that, but not sure. Anyways, let's make it on. And it says change it to post in the hint. So what you do is when the intercept is on, you right click and change request method. It turns to post, then you click forward. And voila, file content. So this is just to flag the website when you, when you enter the link and exposes the contents. Fix input for, for now. Or something. Copy and paste. That's correct, sir. All right. Um, let's go home. Uh, turn this off. Yeah, there you go. Capture flag number two at etc. Flag two. Hint. Check your cookies. Okay. Let's go number two. Refresh the page, please. Refresh. Only admins access this page. It says check the cookies, so right click and spec. I believe it is sources, network performance. Okay, so application this is for Chromium, and there's just cookies. All right. So flag number two. If you recall, it's the same thing as LFI number two. And it talks about no bytes. So what we can do is, let's actually go back here, flag number two, I will dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash etc flag two 
percentage zero zero. I think it's percentage zero zero. Let me check. Yes, it is. All right, let's see. And let's refresh this. There you go. Transversal with the no bite. And cookie is yummy. Capture flag three at accessory flag three was this hint. Everything is filtered. The website used request to accept HTTP requests through research to understand and what it accepts. Okay, let's see. Let's exit this out. Home challenge number three. Let's click include. What does it has? Okay. All right. All right. Flag number three. Oops. It's not filter. It's not filter. The website uses a request. All right. Let's. It's the wrong one. Let's uh, turn it on. Let's save. Flag number three. I think I'm doing this right. Let's try this. So let's intercept. Let's see, change quest posts for. All right, post is working. So what I did was I add transversal and with the no byte, and then I intercepted with Burke, changed it to post, and then forwarded it. And awesome. All right, last one. Gain RCE in Lab Playground. Uh, dot PHP with RFI to execute the hostname command. What is the output? Now this one you have to Google and research. Uh, so why I did was I did not do this, but I found the try hack before, and this person chair jockey says create a file like task six except it need to be a command. But it looks like this PHP echo. So the first thing you do is let's Linux command. Let's go nano. Let's create a file nano host. Dot. Okay. And let's copy this echo. Now this one, it's from task six. And it talks about PHP echo, hello teach M. But obviously this is a little bit different. Uh, copy, paste clipboard. Oh, that's not the right one. Copy, paste, there you go. Uh, where's my nice and paste? I like to all right. Control X, yes, save host, and then. 
So the next one, start a simple HTTP server in the same directory as a file, Python m HTTP server. So Python 3-m HTTP server. Okay. Now next is challenges. I need changes. So playground. I'm going to change this in uh, playground.php. Did I turn this off? No, there you go. Oops. Did that already start about? Okay, so include, what does that say? Function include cannot. All right, so PHP file. So now we're trying to pull data to file that I just created. So it's HTTP, I believe it's like that, right? HTTP IP file name. As you can see, mine's 10, 10, 80, 175. Okay. 10, 10, 80, 175. Let's see. That's it. 10, 10, 80, 175, port 8000. the file host.txt there you go guys I thought I got this wrong but and that's the file content Ooh, that was a doozy so congrats guys finish your room you can share on Twitter Facebook and LinkedIn I already share mine's on LinkedIn and uh, yeah, that was fun, guys. Uh, you like this video? If you give a thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I will be doing a, a timestamp on this. I know this is more detail, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, hit the notification button. Help me encourage to uh, pump these videos out. Uh, I like to do this on my off time, and I spend my yeah my own money, my time. So. I strongly recommend uh, subscribe to uh, Try Hack Me subscription um, uh, yearly subscription. It's only like um, ninety US dollars a year. So uh, currently, uh, I do not have IT experience, but I'm trying to switch to pivot my career. And I do have active and current. I have T Comp TIA, I have T plus A plus CYSA plus Network plus Pentest plus and Security plus. And I'll be doing those videos soon, how to pass these uh, tests within two months. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.